Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna continue with the evil campaign in the Shadow and Flame mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06, we're gonna attack Osgiliath today for 50 more command points with the Witch King of Engma, Gothmog, 60 Orcs and 2 Trolls, let's get it started. Once a glorious Gondorian city, Osgiliath is now but another battlefield in the war between Mordor and Gondor. Oh yeah, Osgiliath is gonna fall today, guys. Trust me on that one. Run, you fools. Gondo doesn't stand a chance. You approach the human's main encampment. Destroy it to secure the city. <laughs> Collect the heads of hundred fallen human warriors. I got you. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We get the we got the witch king on foot. Look at him. Perhaps we can knock the towers over. Look at the design of the witch king. Like looks pretty dope. Am I right or not? Uh, unfortunately, however, this witch king isn't able to get mounted on the fell beast, but you are only able to get mounted on the black horse. So we have a troll cage, orc pit and a slaughterhouse but we will need more than only one slaughterhouse. We have a lot of orcs and orcs are kind of waste of command points to be honest with you guys. So we can just try to send them to death. I wanna take a look into the witch king. He has leadership am I right? Uh, black captain, yeah. The nearby units gain 50% damage and experience and 20, uh, minus 25% health. Leadership bonus for nearby Nazgul. What? So our allied units lose health? I don't get it. Maybe you guys can let me know in the in the comments section down below. And we have also the war maze. That's gonna, I believe, make something different happen. I don't know. We will we will see about that. So let's try to destroy this camp first of all. We can also build some towers just to feel a bit safe. And the katas can also do some work. With the G key, we can guard this area, and this way they can automatically attack everything inside the castle. Witch King is pretty slow when he is dismounted. But we are hitting like a truck. That's what I like to see. Okay, so let's kill this first. And look at these catapults, guys. Unlike in normal B BFME 1, they don't have to fire uh, stone. So they only shoot with normal stones. I believe this way they also deal less damage. But don't kneel me on this one. I can't uh, confirm. I don't know yet. We have 8 power points collected, which is great. Because now we get the chance to get the ho call the horde, but I would say we will wait a little bit more to save for the darkness because call the horde is gonna only increase the production speed of the orcs, if I'm not mistaken, right? The orc production speed and orcs are never gonna be our primary army, unlike in the films. I believe that was the mistake of Mordor that they were trying to weak, uh, the, to win the fight with weak orcs, you know? Imagine having more trolls or more catapults or mo more Mumma kills. Orcs are like free food and the Rohirrim they could charge them down. Let's build some more slaughterhouses. We have a lot of command points available. We have uh, 53 heads collected so far. Remember the goal is 100. That is a catapult but it's gonna be taken down. We have still a bunch of orcs and I would like to lose them once again. Stop, stop it. We will need some... Uh, Wait a second, our trolls are doing absolutely nothing. You fool, no man can kill me. Okay, there is a camp, and I believe there is a camp. We can try to use Vision of Palantir, yeah. There is a camp too, so we need to destroy in total uh, two, more cam two more camps. Let's uh, use Industry to get the money a bit faster. Build some more towers. There are some arches inside this tower from our opponent. There is some money on the ground. And we can also, um, you know, capture this one and make some trolls now. Can we get also Muma kills on the field, on this map? I didn't check the spot, if it's available or not. Witch King is quite tanky. Has 4060 HP with level 2, which is pretty, pretty strong. The catapult can now shoot these towers. Let's demolish this orc pit because we don't really need that. Hey, 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 stop it. No, Mumu kill pan is not an option, unfortunately. But maybe we can get the Haradrim Palace or Siege Works. You know what? Siege Works, I'm down. We, because we, we will need some catapults to destroy those towers from a safe distance. 
Okay, more units are coming, but they are running into the towers. And the tower damage is kind of a joke. Look how long it takes for the towers to deal with the armies. Okay, trolls. And if they didn't change that, um, this drama troll is also making our siege weapon stronger. So the 50% damage boost works also on the catapults, guys. Okay, that's great. So we need in total 4 trolls for the building to hit level 2. And that's gonna give us the chance to recruit also some drama trolls. To make not only our trolls stronger, but also the catapults and even the orcs. Drama trolls, in my opinion, are the best leadership you can actually get in this game. Okay, so we have 100 collected, that's great. That was a bonus. Command the catapult to fire human heads, okay? Destroy all Gonda structures and uh, secure the bridges, okay? I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you. Do we have no, no more catapults? No, it looks like we have no more catapults left. Which king can do something now? Okay, we need more catapults. Are you limited? Yeah, you are only limited to five of these at the same time, which is kind of... Okay, didn't know that. We have four trolls here. Oh, we have cutters also coming now. Okay. Okay, that was a bonus, by the way. I just switched to the skull shot and it be completed the bonus, which is great. Let's keep moving on and also let's secure this bridge. Again, you can just press G button and then he's gonna, the catapults are going to automatically attack everything in the area you are trying to protect. G for God. We get... Oh, Witch King has to be careful. Plus 17. And the maze is giving you splash damage, which means you are able to hit multiple units at the same time, which can, in many situations, be great, you know? But your attack speed is gonna suffer quite a lot. Look at this. Arches are di dying. They don't wanna die, you know? They are so tanky. Oh, we have... Oh, I really thought this is an orc. That's a Gothmo. I mean, he's an orc. Okay, my bad. Master of Siege. Nearby catapults gain 15% movement speed and reload time. That's a huge buff, actually, on the catapults. I like that. Let's bring him to the catapults to make them stronger. Dude, just attack this, please. Attack this. And the Witch King is getting attacked all the time. Let's destroy this catapult first of all, and Gothmog can try to protect this katas. 15% uh, reload time actually makes them hit way, way faster. Gothmog looks so funny. He's like handicapped, you know? Look, the one arm. He's like, you you fools, I only need one arm to kill you. Oh. It shows the fire, but it's actually no fire. Okay, we lost a lot. We will need some more catapults. The troll cage is level 2. We will now get the chance to recruit some drummer trolls for some fiesta. They're attacking the camp. They're attacking the camp. Okay, we killed the catapult. That's nice. Skull shot does obviously no damage. Um... There is also a tower. Look, Gothmog damage against the tower, which is pretty nice, actually. Can we destroy it? Can we kill this one as well? I'm actually curious how much damage he will be able to deal to this ruined tower. This guy is trying to repair. Hey, 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 Gothmog, not this way. The enemy is in our camp. Okay, I mean, the guy is repairing literally faster than Gothmog's damage. <laughs> what the heck? But it's... Uh, let me check the drama troll once again. Yeah, look, artillery. Yeah, that means our katas are gonna be stronger. And now you have double buff for the catapults. This is also a buff. Uh, movement speed and reload time. So, they're gonna hit now 50% harder with the drama troll and 15% faster with goth mode. So, it's a great combination. Let's try to secure this bridge. Oh, we, we are did we lose Witch King? Oh my goodness. I Such a noob, guys. Sorry for that. I wasn't paying attention. My bad. We will need more trolls, more catapults. And the trolls, they don't know what they are doing. Help Gothmog, you will need one hour. Is there also a, a camp? Yeah, but there is a camp, but he was not able to secure this just yet. Katas. The units are annoying me a little bit, not gonna lie. We are losing this camp, by the way. Oh my goodness. Okay, we, we need to be careful. To not lose also the second base, because the second we lose this, after losing this one, we will be defeated. Witch King is back on the menu, boys. Let's use the maze, Witch King. If we can make something happen. You guys can move on and also kill this, please. 
We can now just buy this camp. It's gonna be nice. Okay. And let's destroy this right after. Get some more catapults. No, we are limited. We can't have more than that anymore. But we have a lot of money. We didn't even use devastation just yet. But on this map, Osgiliath, you don't have many trees, as you can see and tell. So the more you trees you have, the more benefit you will get, of course, from the devastation. We are also not able to build furnaces. They are limited to the slaughterhouses exclusively in this mission. Because Mordo, you know, Mordo is also able in normal BFME to build both the um, resource buildings, furnaces and slaughterhouses. But in the campaign, to make it more, you know, film-like, I believe you are limited to the slaughterhouses. Okay. More trolls. Scavenger is coming in handy. Kill this first, then just kill this one first. Oh, more units are coming. I just cancelled the animation. Yes, actually, every single tower mounted. Remember, we are playing the heart campaign. This is not like an easy one. You fool. You fool. Uh oh. Their horsemen are extremely strong. Aim for the beast. Kill, kill, kill. Please, before you die, kill. One more hit. Kill. I don't mind if you die. Okay, nice. Can you? Can we get back? Get away? Yeah, we can get away. Actually, the soldiers are quite fast. Run, you fool. <laughs> you have only one arm, but you have still two legs. What's happening here? This guy is trying to fight us, but the katas are cheating. They're cheating. I wish we had trees in our hands, but it's fine. Okay, let's give those... Uh, actually, we have so much money. Oh, but the reinforcements. The Nazgul is coming, ladies and gentlemen. Witch King is gonna be in a safe spot. Do we have one Nazgul only? Yeah, that's it, right? We need to kill the rangers. Let's use Screech to scare them off. And I also want to kill this uh, Trebuchet. Trebuchets are very annoying to deal with. They deal so much damage and they can shoot from like a, from like Mars, you know? They have a lot of range. Troll, troll. Let's... Witch King and Nazgul. You guys defend this one, please. We don't have many units left on the field anymore, that's why we'll definitely need the second uh, troll cage as soon as possible. Make some more katas. Oh! Wait, wait a second. Now you can- you wanna fight? I'm down fighting. You- you Nazgul don't even bother that. Okay. The Kondanais, they are no match. But there is one trebuchet annoying me. Witch King has to be careful, he might be in trouble. Okay. Alright, we can one-shot this trebuchet though, that's pretty good, I think I take that. Our trolls were able to handle the situation, not a big deal. You fool. We need more towers. Okay, we killed. Yes, that's true. The horsemen are gunners. More trolls. Hey, stop it. This trebuchet though. They are very annoying. We also lost Kofmog. Even more trebuchets are coming. I believe what we need to do is we need to destroy this camp first, right? Look, the evil faction lacks of summons. The only summon you get actually from the spellbook in normal VFME, but also in the mission or the campaign of the evil in uh, the Shadow and Flame mod is the Balrog summon. While the good factions like Gonda and Rohan, they have multiple summons. They have the Eagle summon, and summon, you know, Rohirrim summon. Hey, 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 be careful. Hit him. Look, you see? Splash damage. You are able to knock them on the ground with the maze. But his attack speed is quite low, so we can kite, hit, and run back. Never mind, just run. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> you couldn't run fast enough. The towers are a joke, though. Not gonna lie. I'm not uh, very happy about the towers. So, let's move on. You guys destroy this one first. And you guys, you destroy this farm. Okay. We will lose this one, I believe. We have nothing. Actually, we have one uh, Nazgul, of course. We can kill this trebuchet. Our Nazgul was doing absolutely nothing. I can, I can already see you flaming me in the comment section down below. Okay. Look at this level 2 boss. You guys throw rocks now. Go throw rocks. Let's use Eye of Sauron too. I see you. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Do something. 
We need archers, but we need to kill the rangers first. Not only we get more money, but also the rangers are hurting a little bit more. Which king was able to survive? That's okay. Drama trolls shouldn't attack, because if you don't know if the drama trolls are attacking, they won't give you any leadership. So please keep that in mind. We need to also move the Eye of Sauron. Drama troll, I told you not to attack. Just support the armies. That's all you gotta do. Hey, do something. Okay. Gothmok is back on the menu too. You guys destroy this farm. He's getting free money and then we need to try to save this. But I think they are good for now. They should be good for now. It's okay, but look what we did to his face. I believe when you destroy these two towers, they fall on the ground and they break the wall of the, of the um, camp. We release the mountain troll. We have so much money, actually, we can build even a third uh, troll cage. Money isn't a problem at all. Like, no problemo. So the shortcut for the troll cage is C. And, uh, you know, my advice is if you want to learn BFME games, make sure to learn the shortcuts. So this way you can recruit units faster, you can build buildings faster, and that's gonna just save you so much time. You will be much, much faster. You know, of course, like mentioned several times, in RTS games, it's very important to be fast, to be efficient with your time. That's gonna make you a better player. If you wanna play, you know, not only against AI, but maybe potentially also at some point against um, real players, you know? Drama troll here. Okay, we are destroying these towers in no time. You wanna throw rocks? I'm down. I can also throw rocks on you. Nice. Ooh. You got you kill the units. Uh, Nazgul is getting targeted. Let's kill the rangers first. We release the mountain troll. Okay, let's kill the archers next. And I will keep saying it all the time, but adding uh, battle formations to BFME 1, just like in BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King, would improve this game quite a bit. Let's make double Siege. I mean, even though Siege is kind of pointless, am I right? Because Siege doesn't... You are only able to get five of them at the same time. So you can spam Katas all the time. Please, you guys move on as well. And we are just building more army at this point. We release the mountain troll. You defend this area. Let's replace the slaughterhouses we just lost. Open the doors to the great siege works. Okay, we are limited once again. Okay, let's keep moving on. And I believe now we will be we almost the secured the bridges. All we need to do is actually secure the middle one, and we are good to go. You guys go there. Let's give them the swords, uh, I mean the rocks. You guys can move from this area. We can use the industry the second it's available. Again, in a camp like this, you can hit every single building at the same time, which means you get 100% more from every six of them. It's like having 12 slaughterhouses instead of six, instead of six you know? So very, very good. Keep fighting here. And we're gonna secure now the second bridge. We have a lot of drama trolls. They didn't even move with the trolls. Come on. We need to support them with leadership. Okay. We also need to make some more trolls from this one. Okay. So we will have a lot of army very soon. I'm actually curious if we can keep the army. If we can keep the army what we have right now in Osgiliath. That's actually huge because we're gonna have two big armies with trolls exclusively. Imagine when we go to Minas Tirith like that, you know? To show Sauron how he needed to fight. Okay. Maybe Sauron didn't have that as much economy as we did, though. Okay. Nice. So, uh, security breaches. I did. I did security breaches. Oh, we lost the Nazgul. Oh, and we can't even revive him. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. More, 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 more. The Witch King. Okay, we just got the mission, right? Security breaches, nice. Destroy all Gondo structures. That's gonna be our ne next task. 
We release the mountain troll. We release the mountain troll. We release the mountain troll. Okay. You guys move here. And you guys move here. Okay. More, 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 more. The more, the better. The more, the better. You fool. Hey, you can also get mounted on your work. 100% more damage from archers and spearmen. Okay, so he's gonna be even more squishy. He has already 1200 health only. <laughs> he's very, very weak. Look at this army. That's not even all, all that we got, guys. We have much more than that. Look, it's like, this is so funny with the rocks. I'm a big fan of this one. Also, in the last mission, when I was figuring out that this is a thing, it's so nice. Look <laughs> how fiesta this actually looks like. <laughs> okay. I mean, battering ram is kind of useless at this point, not gonna lie. Don't invest or waste your money into that on a reason, especially command points. Money is not a problem, as we have over 13,000 for now, but command points are limited, as you guys know. Let's break this. Okay, let's break this too. Let's see how fast it's breaking. Very fast. Very, very fast. Kill everything. Okay, you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna group all the army here to show them the power of Mordor. You turn and kill this pikeman first. Pikemen are dealing a lot of damage. Just like in BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King. Normally, in normal BFME, they wouldn't hurt that much, trust me. We release the mountain troll. We release the mountain troll. It would be nice to save the level 2 one, but it's okay if we don't. Okay, we are gonna be... Look, we, are, we release the mountain troll. We have so much money. Even now, after spending almost all of that. Again, devastation is kind of useless here, guys. Look, there are no trees around. Are there tre trees around here? Nope. But maybe here? A little bit. Okay. Okay, we have the command points limited now. And now we close the eyes and hope for the best. Oh, Skiliaf, ladies and gentlemen, is fallen. And please make sure to leave a like for your boy for this video. Likes are helping quite a lot. It's gonna take you two seconds. And subscribe if you haven't already. We are really close for Minas Tirith. I believe we need to do one or two more missions max. And then we are ready to attack and go for the final war. I mean, we can kind of delay that to unlock all the power points and get all the heroes to level 10. But I believe, uh, you know... I I'm not patient enough. We're gonna attack Minas Tirith as soon as it's available for us. And once the evil campaign is finished, we're gonna start with the good campaign. So stay tuned for this one, guys. Oh, yeah. We released the mountain troll and look at this. Look at the army of the Mordor. There will be no dawn for men. There will be no dawn for men. Victorious, ladies and gentlemen. You already know what's up. Oskiliaf is... Paramiel wasn't able to show his quality once again. Actually, where was Faramir? Run, you fools. And look where they are running. You see the big white city behind? That is Minas Tirith. And that's gonna be our final target in the evil campaign. Okay, I wanna see. Just... Now look, Witch King killed actually quite a bit. Witch King of Ingmar. You can also rename him. No, no, no. You are not able to rename the uh, heroes, but you are able to rename the units if you want to. Let's see if we are able to attack Minas Tirith next. No. The halflings have been found with the ring. They make their way through the cave. Alright, you know what's up next? Shilob Slayer. We will get to play with Shilob this time, right? Can I see that? No. I can't see that. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Once again, please make sure to leave a like on this video. Check me out, check me out on my Twitch channel if you haven't already. Uh, I'm streaming three times a week. Right now, I don't have a schedule, but make sure to turn on the notifications and join the Discord community uh, if you want to catch me live if you want to be able to talk to me and yeah again thanks for watching take you know take care of yourselves as always keep hitting like a track and stay beyond standards peace out